Hey guys, I'm in Virginia today, checking out one of the coolest places I've ever been to. And I want you to see this. Check this out. So all these heads came from a place called President's Park in Williamsburg, Virginia. It was a place where you could walk around in sort of like an outside museum. And um, it had plaques and information about them all. Um, but that closed in 2004. So the owner of this land is Howard Hankins. And he was hired by the property owners of President's Park to get rid of these president heads. They wanted to demolish them, and he couldn't do it. So he got a crew together, and they were able to figure out a way how to move these things, and that's how they ended up on his farm. So all in all, there's 43 of these here. Um, every single president except for Trump and Obama are here. So here's George W. Bush. His nose and his skin aren't doing that great. He's also got some issues on his chin there. And he's right next to Lyndon Johnson, who also has a little bit of problems with his nose. There's JFK. Now, I certainly don't know all these presents, but I know all the main ones. But it's still pretty cool walking around, seeing the detail, seeing how amazing these things are. Look at this tie. This is amazing. This is old Richard Nixon right here. Look at this U.S. This is incredible. Here's Lincoln. Definitely one of my favorites. Here's Andrew Jackson. And here's George. I'm not sure why they have these three separated. So you could see basically it was like a metal structure inside with metal mesh and then like a cement on top of it. These things weigh a lot. In order for these things to be moved, they had to have the tops of their heads drilled out or taken off. So the cranes could access the steelwork inside. So you can see in the back of Lincoln's head is completely taken off, totally blown out. And that was for them to be able to get to the metal mesh, the structure itself, and be able to lift these things up, hoist them up with a crane. They all pretty much have damage on the tops or the backs of their heads. You could see even George Washington here has some uh, some damage and that was really the only way to be able to move these things because they're so heavy and so big but easily repairable I mean these things are they're cement so it's you can just re-cement them so after having a long conversation with the property owner I found out that there's big plans for these things he's in the midst of creating a park similar to what President's Park was but something even even cooler even crazier so that's hopefully coming soon so hopefully these things will have a new home at some point pretty cool that everybody will be able to see them but it also will be the end of this place so i hope you guys loved watching this this was very cool being here i'm so glad i was able to get here before it's gone forever um, so make sure you follow me along on my journey i'm traveling all across the country, checking out awesome places like this. And I'll see you in the next adventure.